want to really go over with you a service that I've been using to curate content and it's called Scoop It. Now I found out about Scoop It from my dear friend Anise Smith. She is a content curator uh, extraordinaire and she uh, tweeted something on Scoop It and immediately when I saw it I was like oh my gosh that is so cool. Let me just give you an example for those of you who've never seen Scoop It before. This is the way it looks. If someone were to tweet a story that they posted on their Scoop It, when you click the link, you will see this. And the story will be brought to the forefront and the person's Scoop It page will be in the background. And you can read the snippet. You can go ahead and click through to the original story. I'll show you all the options before we click on the story. You can share the story just based on the snippet. If you want to give it a plus one, pin it or stumble it. You can set up your account in here. I have my Facebook profile, my Twitter, my Facebook page and my Tumblr. You can also comment on it right here. And if you have your own Scoop It account, you can re-scoop it. And Scoop It allows you to have five topics in their uh, free version of the account. Okay, so if I wanted to re-scoop this over to my podcasting Scoop It page, I could do that here. Now, if I wanted to go to the article, the original source article, I would just click the title. And this happened to be a post by my friend Damon Nolan over at DamonNolan.com. Now, if I want to see the person's scoop it board and think of it in terms of Pinterest, I think more people are probably familiar with Pinterest at this time. It pops out similar to the way an image would pop out in Pinterest. But the great thing about it is you actually have the story here, snippets of the story that you can read right on the actual Scoop It post. Okay, this particular page I set up for, it's about blogging tips, but mostly in this case, I'm curating the posts where I've been mentioned or my blog has been mentioned. And it's great because most of the blogs where I've been mentioned or linked to, it's great to collect them this way because this then I can remember who I need to give back to when I do a blog post. But also, because all of these posts are about blogging, other Scoop It users are finding the information very valuable and they're following along with this topic as well. And you can see here, this is the count of how many reactions there are. And the reactions can be that it was shared somewhere or that there was a comment left. So let's go over to the main dashboard. Once you set up your Scoop It account, this is the area that you will see when you come over to Scoop It homepage. Now I'm following topics from some of my other blogging buddies and some interests that I have. And you'll get some of those topics highlighted over here on the side. You'll see general statistics about how many views your Scoop It's have received. This is the community, meaning there are other people that you're following or that you have uh, connections to on other networks that have started Scoop It's. Now, right now I have a trial of the pro version. So some of these features you'll see are part of the pro version. Now here's my topics. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see all the topics that you're curating. As I mentioned before, I have basic blog tips, of course, podcasts, uh, any YouTube tips and tutorials, 
Here's my uh, Scoop It On blogging contest. And also I'm a STEM advocate. And for those of you who've never heard of STEM, wondering what that is, that's science, technology, engineering, and math. So let's take a look at my YouTube tips and tutorials. What Scoop It will do is based on some keywords that you've entered, they are going to suggest content. And this content will come from blogs, Twitter, and if you want, you can go through these and see if there's any that you want. If you don't want it, you can remove it, or you can discard it, or you could go ahead and scoop it. If you scroll down this whole page and you don't see anything that you're interested in, here's the option right here to clear the page. And it will just make sure that you wanna clear the page, discard all those. Those all just so happen to come from Twitter. I didn't see anything that interested me. Here's one that I've been hearing a lot about where YouTube invites everyone to join his partner program, but I've already scooped content on that. So I'll move on. Now here's where the Google blogs come in at. Notice I didn't mention before that if it's coming from Twitter, you'll see the Twitter there. This is coming from Google blog search. Now what you can do to hone in on the correct keywords is go right here up to manage. And this is where it says manage sources. And these are the keywords that I'm searching for. Video marketing, YouTube tutorials, and I can change that anytime I want. Over on the right, Scoop it also lets you manage your selected sources where you can search different formats such as YouTube, Twitter, Dig, Google News, and Google Blogs. There's also an alternate method that is the one that I primarily use, and that's going to be the extension for Chrome. There's a Scoop It for Google Chrome extension, and let me show you how it works. Once you download it to your browser, the icon will appear up at the top, and we'll take the story where our, our friend, IFAM wrote about designing my logo and we'll add it to the basic blog tips scoop it page. You can scroll through the choice of images that has been grabbed. Some text will prefill, but I always like to make sure I grab some relevant text, add that in. And then this is where you decide where you want to share it. I've probably already shared this on Facebook and Twitter enough. I've been talking about it ever since he did it. So I'll just uncheck these for now and then just hit publish. Then you get a chance to see your scoop. And once it's over and scoop it, you can move it around on your scoop it board if you want. You just use this little move icon here. And I can move it down here. You can also highlight it and make it the featured scoop. Like I did with this one. Notice that it has the star and the ribbon. Let's do that. Force to top. And now this one appears as my featured scoop. So no matter what, as I'm going along curating more content, this one will stay pinned at the top. Now let's go back over to the Scoop It dashboard. I can also go into advanced options and add URLs of feeds, specific Twitter users or lists, 
custom searches, Google News search. You can customize any of these. Also Facebook page searches. Or if I had an OPML file, I can import that as well. Now for pro users, you will have more detailed analytics. And we also have the option to add Google Analytics tracking. Just click on this button here that says need help. And you'll see this link that you need to go to in Google Analytics. Now it's very important that you use this link because it's going to take you to your account administration in Google Analytics. And here we are. Use this link for new account. Type in the name. In this case, I'll use podcast on Scoop It. Go over to your topics page on Scoop It and grab that URL. Over in Google Analytics, you'll pick HTTP colon forward slash forward slash paste the URL. Then you can also read and agree to the terms and conditions from Google Analytics. I'm a speed reader, so I've read all that already. <laughs> and then create account. Confirm that you're tracking a single domain. Grab the tracking ID and paste the tracking code in this box. And in the next 24 hours, you should start seeing some tracking data. You're all set. That's it. The other thing I like about this analytics page, you also get to see who your most engaged users are. So for the example, we have Jimin Gin. He's rescoop 35 and give me a thanks. James, here's Nico. Here's my friend DeTesco. Anise, Michael. So this is another way to make connections throughout the community. So you're also able to see who the top readers are. So these are the people that have visited my Scoop It page frequently. They may not have rescooped, but who knows, maybe they shared it on Facebook or Twitter. So if I'm not following these people, I could go ahead and follow them or see what their scoop of topics are. For example, let's take a look at DeTesco's page. Here we see the topics that he is curating. And he likes small business bites and social media, home business resources and so forth. But you also get to see all of the other topics that he is following. So he may have some other topics here that we also find interesting. And then we could go ahead. This little score is a score that Scoop It measures the topic quality based on the dynam dynamism. I'm not even sure I could say that word. Dynamism, depth, and audience engagement. So you see I'm doing kind of well with my basic blog tips. But here's another one from Gus Mees, which has a score of 87. So that's one we may want to check out. Here's Anise that I mentioned earlier. Let's just go over to Anise's page because I know she has a very popular on QR codes. And uh, she also curates content on augmented reality. So you can curate content. There's a community aspect to it. You also get some analytics. You get to find new content that others are curating and let me show you one more benefit i'm over here in my google webmaster tools for my blog which is basicblogtips.com and you see the number two item listed here at this time it's actually higher than blog engage which i'm kind of surprised about but that's great that means a lot of people are curating my content and now I have 
all these links adding up on my blog and they're coming from Scoop It. Well, that was an overview of Scoop It and also a big shout out to my friend iFam. And hopefully you've learned something from this tutorial and you'll come back again. But just so you don't forget, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And that's the Miss Eileen Speaks channel on YouTube. And come over to the blog, basicblogtips.com. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Peace.